All right, Council, it is 1.15 a.m. Um, Chad. Uh, what up, Council? My name is Chad Kroger. First of all, hang on just a moment. Yep. So you may have a seat until I'll call you up. All right. Thank you very much. Um, first, I just want to say thank you. Uh, nothing gets me more stoked than six hours of civil service. I come to you from a land called SoCal, and also just want to say that I'm honored to be in this newfound land of Delaware. I wasn't aware that the government had inducted the 51st state, but I'm stoked that you joined America. Welcome. First state, dude. According to our sources, an attempt has been made to suppress their right to party. Not to get too lawyery on you, but this is in direct violation of the Constitution. Our forefathers valued the right to rage without government restriction. Obviously, the forefathers loved to get naked and funnel brews. As a young man entering college, I had dabbled in partying, but I had yet to fully hop on the BL Smooth froth train. It wasn't until a day party called Jungle that I discovered my edge and freed myself from party self-consciousness. Upon arrival, I was stiff. I hadn't even taken my shirt off yet, and the thought of dropping dong had not even entered my mind space. But then my college buddy Ass Clown threw on Strobe by Dead Mouse, and my body just went haywire on the dance floor. After tearing it up, I had a fire combo with Tiffany Van Raphorst, and we dated for two weeks after. The self-confidence I gained from that epic flame with Tiff turned me from a man into an activist. Council, I beg of you, please refund this law. Much like Gandhi, I've been on a Jews cleanse and protest and will continue this cleanse until the situation is rectified. We must not prevent these kids from reaching their full potential. Thank you. Thank you for being here tonight, JT. Thank you. Good job, Chad. Thank you. What up, council? It was a shrewd political move to push the party portion to later in the meeting. It tested my patience, but I persevered and I learned some really cool stuff. I've often talked about the first time my dog Chad and I shared a beer bong. It was a four hose beer bong and I subbed in for a dude who was on antibiotics. As we twisted the nozzle and opened our throats, I realized something. The beer bong hose was more than a hose. It was a link to my brother and the poor. Later that night, Chad and I roasted marshmallows on my couch that we had lit on fire and thanked the stars for providing us with parties. Under your new party laws, I might have never met my beer bong partner for life. Pause for effect. I know you think you're helping by placing restrictions on partying. Labeling more than four people hanging out as a party though, that means this council meeting could be called a party. This is chill, but this is not a party. And placing restrictions on parties won't stop parties. In California during weed prohibition, I knew some dudes who were still getting baked. Quite a few actually. The best thing you can do is not place restrictions on partying, but create more communication around partying. The best way to communicate this point though is at a party. That's where people open up and say how they really feel. I invite the entire council to be brave and come rage with the student body and let's see if we can't talk straight up about who we are and what we want. If you can rage, I'll know I can trust you. But even if you don't, that's legit. I'm not here to be divisive. I'm here to build bridges, dank bridges, that can support more than one party. Thank you. Thank you. Now these chaps came in here and they talk about having their bongs or palms or pings or whatever they are. It says here, prohibited activities, possession or use of any apparatus, including but not limited to beer palms, tables, palm tables, beer funnels. Now how can these people come in here? What kind of people are these? It's been a long night. It has been, thank you. 